if you enjoy something, you naturally want more of that thing. I'm sure you guys have found yourself in the situation where you're not watching the final few episodes of your favorite show because you just don't want it to end. And if you couldn't tell, I like FNAF quite a bit. So, naturally, I want as much as I can when it comes to this franchise. So when it came word that FNAF AR and Illumix built their own website specifically for FNAF merchandise for their game, you betcha I was hopping on that train to buy some. So today, I'm going to be showing off every single item I've ever bought when it came to FNAF AR merchandise. Now, when I say every item, I mean every item I've bought off of merch.fnafar.com, which means I'm not going to be counting the Frostbear action figure, which I talked about not too long ago. Link in the description if you missed that. And also not the Frostbear plushie that I am still missing, but I'm, I'm looking forward, boys, trust me. So, let's not waste any more time, because I have a lot of products to go through. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, or you're still new, and you want to give a bit more, because trust me, I've spent hundreds of dollars on these products, smash the like button. I really need to get my monies back, so please watch all the ads, boys. 600 plus dollars on all of this stuff. It's insane. So we're gonna go from their earlier products to some of their newer products. So first up, we have the Arcade Mayhem product, starting off with my poster, which is hanging up right over there. Now, while the poster doesn't really have much to look at, it gets the point across. It has all the Arcade Mayhem skins on there, as well as 8-Bit Baby up at the top. It has a logo up there as well, and also has some very subtle squares in the background. A very simple poster, but one that I do enjoy. Next up is the Arcade Mayhem hat. You may have seen me wear this in a few videos because I like it. It's very simple, but you got all the characters there. I'm personally not a huge fan of the Icon t-shirts, but when it comes to hat, where it covers basically all you really needed to cover, it's not a bad design at all. I'm also gonna be putting up all the prices of these items as we go along, just so you can see just how much money I've spent. Next up are the two stickers that came with the bundle. You got 8-Bit Cupcake as well as 8-Bit Baby. They're very small, and like I've said in the past, I do plan on getting a notebook specifically for FNAF AR stickers, but as you can see, I've yet to do that. And finally, we have my FNAF AR Arcade Mayhem t-shirt. This was my favorite out of all the t-shirts that they made because it features everyone and it has the logo up top. So next up is the Sizzling Summer and Toxic Wasteland event. And this, wow, I spent a lot of money on these two bundles. Together, I spent $173 on these things. Big ouch, boys. So first up are the two posters right over there. You got Toxic Springtrap as well as the Sizzling Summer characters. I would have to say the Sizzling Summer one is by far my favorite poster that they have made so far. It features all the skins, Flaming Springtrap, uh, Broiler Baby, Scorching Chica, and my boy, Flamethrower Bear Endo. Unfortunately, it does have a rip at the top, but that does not take away my love for that poster. It is amazing. Toxic Springtrap, very simple, but it still looks amazing. They really did step up their game when it came to posters this time around. Toxic Springtrap, very simplistic poster, but I love the tiny touch of the smoke behind him and the particle effects surrounding him. And then we have my Sizzling Summer t-shirt. This one is even more simplistic with no logo this time around, but it still has all of the characters. And then we have pins for Flamethrower Bear Endo as well as Flaming Springtrap. I don't really like the Flaming Springtrap one just because of the white surrounding him. I think it would have looked better if it was just like this one with no uh, surrounding border of color. But hey, I still love them. I don't know why this one is so goddamn huge though when compared to this one, but I love them. Then I have more pins, this time for Radioactive Foxy as well as Toxic Springtrap. Again, I don't know why they keep doing white borders around Springtrap. I think it would look cooler if it was like this, no border, but hey... I guess that's just the way it happened for some reason. To be fair, Foxy does have a black border around him, but it's it's really, you can see all the dust, oh my god, it's just been sitting. All of this stuff, basically the stickers, the pins, all that stuff, they've just been sitting on that shelf, so they might be a bit dusty. Speaking of stickers, we have the group sticker for the Sizzling Summer skins. As you can see, we have all the skins there from the Sizzling Summer event, and they're standing on like magma, lava, I don't know, but it looks amazing. Again. I've yet to put all these in a scrapbook, but I'm gonna do it soon. Then we have holographic stickers for Radioactive Foxy and Toxic Springtrap. I believe that uh, this is the same pose on the poster. 
Yes, it is. And this one right here, if it would focus, is the, uh, I believe the splash screen image in game when he first appeared. Then I have a FNAF AR lanyard. I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, core keys, I don't know, whenever conventions open back up and I can actually go to some. Yeah, very simplistic designs. As you can see, it just has the name and the logo of Special Delivery all across it. And then I've got some beanies. I have the Toxic Wasteland Purple Special Delivery beanie. It's gonna be all dusty because this is the one that's usually on the floor right there, so <laughs> probably not the best place to keep it. And then for some reason, even though I swear I only ordered one, I have two Flaming Springtrap beanies. Now I am gonna be counting only one of them when it comes to calculating the total price because again, I only ordered one. I don't know why I got two, but I'm not complaining. So moving on to the plush trap collection, as you can see, I got the neck mask, which features lots of different poses for plush trap all around it. I actually use this one quite a bit whenever I go outside. And I also got the icon hat and it does plush trap right underneath them. And then I have the plush trap poster, which is right there. And the way the poster was made and the, the way he poses, he actually looks down on me all the time while I'm walking. So it's a little bit terrifying. I just look up and I see him looking down at me, but it's a great poster nonetheless. Now I do have two plush trap shirts, but uh, I think the other one's in the wash or something. So this is the only one I'm gonna be showing off. It's the portrait one. The one that makes it look like plush trap got arrested and was sent to prison. And I also have the attack t-shirt. I'll put up a picture of it right now. Then I have the plush trap pin. As you can see, this pin, probably not a Lumix's best. The picture made it look so good, right? Here's the picture, but then here's the actual pin. What happened? Then I have the two stickers, the one of his head, and then the one when he's in the chair. I did not get the charm. Uh, I swear I ordered it, but I guess it never went through, so... That sucks. Now, it was around this time, I believe, or maybe it was after the Toxic Wasteland event that they had like um, the retro uh, collection and they had like the glitch collection. I didn't get any of those. Some collections, especially the first wave of merchandise, I just skipped completely because I didn't really feel like I really needed to have them. So yeah, that's why I'm missing uh, all of those stuff. But moving on to the Day of the Dead and the Jack O collections, I have the Jack O Chica and Jack O Chica mug. I mean, Jack O Bunny and Jack O Chica mug, as you can see. Very nice. I use these mugs all the freaking time. It's insane. Here's Day of the Dead, uh, Katrina Toy Chica mug. Again, I use this one so often. Speaking of things I use so often, I believe that these are dirty socks. <laughs> so that, yeah, they're, they're, Jesus Christ, they're dirty. This is Katrina uh, Day of the Dead Toy Chica sock. And then I have the Jack O'Bonny and Jack O'Chica socks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wore these like yesterday or something. So that's why they look terrible. Um, I don't know where the other Katrina Toy Chica sock went. <laughs> Just gonna say that. Then I have the Day of the Dead cupcake sticker. Ooh, it's holographic, look at that. I also have the Day of the Dead special delivery sticker. Again, holographic, very nice. Then I have Katrina Toy Chica's head, pro sticker, her decapitated head. And then I have the house for Jacko Chica and Jacko Bonnie. I believe, is Katrina Toy? No, she's not. I believe on the teaser for the merchandise uh, that she was, uh, like right up here, but I guess she got taken out for some reason on the sticker. Oh, there it is. Then I have, God, this is a great sticker. It's the Jacko, Bonnie and Jacko Chica animatronics howling at the moon. It's such a great sticker, dude. I love it so much. And now we come to the, as of right now, latest collection from Illumix and FNAF AR. It is the anniversary as well as the Thanksgiving collections. I have the anniversary sticker right here. The first anniversary logo with Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, and Chica. This group sticker, which has all of the animatronics and skins so far in the game as of, well, maybe like a month ago. Then this is a great sticker. Um, it's Freddy with a balloon. It's holographic. It has a few confetti around Freddy. And we're going to see more of this design later on in the video because I have a few cards to show off as well as some packaging and all that stuff that I think Illumix did a great job on. And this is actually a magnet which shows off Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, as well as the bear endoskeleton. Look at that. I have no place to put it right now besides my fridge, but hopefully I find a place for it soon. Then I have some pins and buttons. This one, this design we've seen uh, previously on a sticker, but this time it's a pin. If it would focus. <laughs> God, I hate this camera. All right, well, that's not working. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Oh, God, I dropped it. This is the, again, the big group 
pin or button. I don't, I don't really know which one it is. I think it's a button. Which has, again, all the skins and characters released so far in FNAF AR. I don't know why this camera is not focusing. God dang it, dude. Hurry up. And then we have what is so far one of my favorite things that they have released. This. I liked it so much I framed it. God dang it. This is the Thanksgiving teaser from last year, which has all the animatronics, Freddy, Bunny, Chica, Foxy, Springtrap, Baby, uh, Plus Trap, and the Bear Endoskeleton, and the Cupcake, all around the table for Thanksgiving. And even though I said that was my favorite, this thing right here may take the cake. I have yet to find a frame for it because I didn't realize it was a poster and not a print, so I got it really small on accident. But this is... Ah, oh, dude, look at that. Now this is what I call a poster. Well, it's like 11 by 17, so I guess it's more of a print, but whatever. This is technically a poster. It has all the skins, all the characters in FNAF AR as of the first anniversary. Dude, it looks amazing. I love how it came out. Illumix does such a great job with prints and posters. I love it. I have yet to find a frame for it though, but you betcha I'm gonna be displaying this thing for all of my friends and family to see when they walk into this office. Now, technically there is more. I don't really consider these products because there's not, you know, you can't buy them on the website, but Illumix has been releasing special like trading cards. I don't really know what they were supposed to be. Uh, whenever you purchase items, these are going to be very dusty because like all the stickers and pins, they've just been sitting right there and sometimes just even in the closet. So if they're dusty, I'm sorry, but this is Foxy. I believe he was one of the first cards to be released when it came to uh, FNAF AR products. And then I have, let's see, let's, let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five. I have six Bonnies. <laughs> oh, this one's really dusty. I have six Bonnie cards. Insane, dude. Uh, he has yellow eyes for some reason. I, d I don't know why. They all have yellow eyes. They're supposed to be uh, like red on Bonnie, so silly mistake there, Lumix. And then I told you he would show up again. This is Freddy with the balloon. This came with the anniversary collections. Whenever you bought a product um, on the anniversary, it's really nice. I love it. And they also have special delivery logo stickers. Some of them have different designs, like this one is kind of like diamondy holographic when you have something like this which is just normal holographic white Let's see in total i have four of the diamond holographics and i think two or three of the normal ones and then i don't know why i kept these they they don't really mean anything but i have these ar tags that come whenever you uh, purchase an item i just have like let's see two four six i have seven of them i don't know why i'm saving these because i, I I don't know why. Uh, this QR code, if you scan it, actually just sends you to the website. And then if you hover over the AR tag, I believe you get like a Freddy jump scare or something. I also have all of these cords. Uh, it's basically the same thing. You have the QR code there. And then it's on the inside with Freddy, links to their YouTube. I don't know why I'm keeping these. I just think they, they look cool. Again, I have, I have so many of these. Same thing with some of the uh, the bags that the stickers come in. I just keep them for some reason. I have no clue why. Why am I like this? Something that I am happy that I kept though is this bag, right? Your special delivery is here. This was actually sent in the mail, right? This wasn't in a box. It was sent like this, which I think was amazing. I wish they did this more because this is like something you'd expect to receive if you are in the FNAF universe, right? You order an animatronic and it comes in this giant box, you know, sent from Fazbear Entertainment. Your special delivery is here. I like this. And that's basically everything. So yeah, uh, the total was $621.04. Boy, oh boy, and I expect that number to go up even more next year. In full honesty, I just love the merchandise, right? I think it is so much better than the game, actually. If Illumix just did merchandise for FNAF AR, I would not mind that because they are amazing at it. But yeah, that's everything I have with FNAF AR so far. I do plan on doing a video going over every single FNAF AR product I've ever gotten. It includes everything on this shelf, all those plushies, everything on this shelf, and everything you can't see in frame right now. So smash the like if you want to see that, and hopefully that will be out by the end of this year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.